Hi everybody, welcome to a new tutorial on NeuroRack. In this video I'd like to show you a new um, addition to the latest release of NeuroRack, which is the sound font player. So we are in AUM, so let's click on the plus sign and create an audio channel. Then let's click on plus on the audio unit extension for insert effects. Let's uh, click and scroll down to reveal the search and um, search for NeuroRack. And let's choose the NeuroRack FX MIDI. So let's connect the keyboard as well, the AUM keyboard, and also let's bring up that keyboard as well. Okay, let's open uh, NeuroRack and uh, let's maximize the window, clicking, double click on the, on the title bar. Let's go in edit mode, click, clicking on that, and then click on the plus sign, and then click on the generators. And here you find now a sound font player. So a nice welcome addition. So that is how it looks like. So straight away you have a sound coming out. So let's go through it. So you have a wavetable here with default one, which it comes with uh, preloaded. So it's called default DLS. Uh, you can import a new uh, wavetable, so new sound font and uh, um, DLS sound fonts as well, clicking on the button here and searching and you can import some from the internet for example and you can delete one as well. When you have your way table you have your preset which can be chosen here. As you can see there are a number of presets that NURAC comes with out of the box so let's listen to some of them. And I really recommend it, they, they are really nice. I know that uh, Paul from Four Pockets uh, thinks the selection is limited, which I can understand, but actually that is a quite a good selection. So really uh, try them and um, orchestral hit. Oh, really nice. You have an output uh, level as well, which you can uh, uh, decide to change in terms of decibel. Okay, so, and um, of course uh, you can add everything you need to uh, because it is no rack, so if you say I want to add, for example, a thumb based um, uh, reverb, there you are, and you can do that. It's as easy as that. And of course, you can use it uh, practically like a synth. So, for example, you can say, let's choose an acoustic bass here, let's set the uh, channel to only respond to um, channel one, like so. And let's create another audio channel. Let's search for another instance of, um, sorry, add another instance of um, uh, new rack, uh, so, like so. Um, <coughs> let's uh, go inside, maximize it a bit, uh, edit, click on the plus sign, generators, bring up another sound font player as well. And let's say that we lived a piano one there and we add again another reverb. Okay, so, and um, and let's ensure that these receives only on MIDI channel number two, like so, and now to see if it works, let's uh, create another third audio channel. Let's search for uh, one of my preferred, uh, a UV free sequencer, the uh, G keys, there it is. Let's connect it to new rack, like so like so and then let's go inside the uh, um, DG keys let's uh, click host to the sync so that we can control it from AUM in terms of transport control let's select a new song type of MIDI let's type a um, song title test press enter create and uh, create it successfully now let's scroll down uh, below we go to track number one yes that's fine let's scroll further uh, below that uh, actually not too far on that let's stay on that and, and let's create for example a pattern and let's click play now Stop that. Uh, I want the 
Oshtsync um, selected. This was deselected when I created the new song. So let's click play. Okay, really nice. Let's scroll down. And now let's go to track number two and let's play something again, something different. Uh, let's click play while I create a pattern. And again, remember, this is a, a new rack, so you can go back in and just say, you know what, I'm going to add another effect there, time-based, I'm going to add a stereo delay. There you go, bang. Okay. Short tutorial, but to the point. So great addition, the sound font player inside the new rack. So I hope you enjoyed. See you next time. Bye.